Good afternoon, Met Office Dan speaking. Hello. Hi there. Hello, yes. Um, I'd like to make a complaint, please. OK, no problem. What's it referring to exactly? Well, the weather. In what sense? Well, that it was wrong. A uh, missile forecast issued by the BBC or on our website? Oh, I don't know. It's just, oh, I just read it. I think in a newspaper, perhaps? Uh, okay, do you remember which newspaper, Bernie Chan? I don't actually know because I take many newspapers because I'm an avid reader and so, you know, I can never keep track of what I'm reading. So it, it might have been the Telegraph, the Times, or the Sun. Right. Not that I read the Sun. I mean, I have read the Sun, but it wasn't <laughs> my copy of the Sun that I read. I just I did, I read it from a distance. Someone else was reading it on the, on the underground. Right. I secretly okay. read it without them noticing. Um, well, actually, they did notice, but I, 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 it's neither here nor there, really. It's, I don't think it's any of your business. No, sure. Well, I mean, it's just, I mean, forecasts come from the office in various different forms, and some of them we actually provide the forecast for them to put out as we provide it to them. Some of them we just provide the raw data, they interpret and issue it themselves, so it just helps us to know sort of... Sorry, so I'm not understanding any of this. You're talking absolute gibberish. Well, I'm not talking gibberish, so I'm explaining to you how the forecast are issued. Yes, but you're explaining it in a way that may make no sense to the average man. Not that I'm the average man, I'm far superior to the average man. I'm, in fact, superior to everyone, including yourself. Okay, sir. Well, unless you actually want to state exactly what your complaint is and give me your details... Well, I explained to you the complaint earlier on in the telephone call. Yes, and I tried to explain to you the answer to that, and you wouldn't listen to me, would you? I did listen to you. I listened to every word. I just you didn't stopped. understand any of it. Well, I don't think anyone else would have found that the case. Right. Are, are you Jargon. a weatherman? I'm not a trained forecaster, sir, no. Well, what do you do exactly? I answer calls from the public. Oh, right. I see. You're a receptionist. I really think so. Now, unless you want to give me your name so I can pass it on to... I shall give you my name, there. indeed. My name is Dufresse... Do you want to spell that for me, please? Yes, I do. It's a D. Yep. Or Derek. U. Or up. F. For. Friday. R. For. Uh, raspberry. Um, a. For. A. I. Um, is. And S. For as. Um, stress. Okay, I can think of plenty of words starting with that. Yes, no, no, sorry, I, I, I just I went blank all of a sudden. It's the pressure you're putting me under with your, with your uncomfortable silences there. Oh, I was only trying to let you finish your. Oh, well, no, I know, but there. you could have helped me out, couldn't you? <laughs> but you didn't. You let me sit there and sweat, and now I feel very silly. I'm very sorry about that. Sir. Well, there's a letter beginning with us just there. Yes, now um, this conversation is getting a little bit silly, really, isn't it? So I'm going to have to Not terminate the call, no. I'm afraid. Okay, no, you won't. thanks for your call. No, you Goodbye can't. now. No, you don't.